Welcome back to Luxury Dream Cars 14. Tadi, we are shifting gears from the slick lines of Luxury Supercars to the monstrous power of Avation's largest and heaviest helicopter, the legendary Mil Mi Minus 26. Will we also explore the world of high-end wheels? This flying titan earnest it is spot on our channel through sheer engineering excellence, unrivaled design, and mind-blowing performance. Let us talk about size. When it comes to the Mi Minus 26, size isn't just impressive, it is record-breaking. Measuring an astounding 131 feet in length with a rotor diameter of over 105 feet, the Soviet era masterpiece is longer than a Boeing 737. The sheer magnitude of this machine dominates any landscape with graces, casting a shadow over almost every other rotary wing aircraft in existence. The design is aggressive and purposeful, built to deliver on raw function and power. The Mi-26 is from Nissan all metal construction, engineered to withstand intense operational demands. From a distance, it is silhouette is unmistakable, massive twin landing gears, an elongated, almost fuselage-like tail boom, and eight massive rotor blades slicing the sky above. This isn't just a helicopter, it is a visual statement of dominance in the sky. Now, take a look at the main rotor. Unlike conventional helicopters with two to six blades, the Mi-26 sports eight composite rotor blades. Each blade is meticulously crafted to handle intense aerodynamic loads and private the lift needed to carry up to 20 tons of cargo externally. Win spinning, take rate, a vortex of wind and thunderous power that is both intimidating and a wind spinning. Moving down to the landing gear. This helicopter reads on a tricycle landing gear configuration, robust and built to take a beating. To rear mount the tandem wheels and a steerable nose gear keep the Mi-26 grounded when needed and stable during the most challenging landings. Whether it is on a rugged battlefield, a forest clearing, or an ice sheet in Antarctica, this beast plant is each of like a tank on legs. The tail boom is another standout feature. Stretched and elongated, it supports a massive tail rotor mounted on the starboard side. This tail rotor is no small affair, it is a five-blade setup designed to counteract the torque produced by that colossal main rotor. Not only does it balance the aircraft in flight, but it ADDS to the Mi-26 asymmetrical charm. The tail also incorporates a horizontal stabilizer with vertical end plates. This element is drive the Mi-26 added control and aerodynamic stability during heavy lift operations. They also added it to the helicopter's muscular, futuristic look, function blending seamlessly with form. Let us not ignore the nose section. Blunt yet sharply tapered downward, the nose holds avionics and with radar, but from an exterior perspective, it gives the Mi-26 a predatory profile. It is almost shark-like, a fitting fast for summiting that rules the skis in its class. Flanking the nose at twin cockpit windshields, each inglet and multi-panelot, offering pilots optimal visibility will enhance the machinous rugged aesthetic. When painted in military a lift drop or rescue service orange, the Mi-26 carries a certain cinematic quality. It looks like summiting out of a futuristic war film, a mechanical dragon ready to rise. It is paint shim is often utilitarian, but the raw scale and design make any color shim look majestic. Now let us discuss performance as it relates to the exterior. Those massive rotor blades are powered by twin D136 turboshaft engines, each producing over 11,000 horsepower. Their oversized air intakes and X-Hast ductes dominate the upper fuselage, adding another layer to the helicopter's industrial strength look. You can hear the Mi-26 from miles away, it roars through the sky with a prissiness. That is hard to ignore, the side fuselage features white cargo doors and optional external hookers. Even though we're not diving into the interior, it is worth noting how these doors blend into the body, yet hint at the innermost payload capacity within. The placement of these external features dies and disrupt the helicopter's design, instead, they contribute to its function first beauty. Historically, the Mi-26 was first introduced in 1983, developed by the Mil Moscow helicopter plant. It was built with one mission, to haul more, fly farther, and conquer terrains where other helicopters simply called them. 
Over the years, it is decent has barely chunked. A testament to how I had of it is time the original engineering was. From transporting tanks to carrying down at aircraft, it is served in both military and civilian missions across the globe. In disaster zones, the Mi-26 is a literal lifesaver. It is appearance on the skyline often marks the arrival of serious help. Later it is delivering supplies after an earthquake or lifting a stranded aircraft out of hostile territory. It is sheer size and exterior features tell a story of capability before it even touches down. And let us not forget the Mi-26 place in aviation history. It held as the record for the heaviest helicopter lift ever performed. That is not just a performance spec. That is a visual legacy. Seeing it in action, watching that rotor system whirl, watching it ascend with a pale at no other helicopter can manage, it is nothing short of mesmerizing. When it sits on a tarmac next to other helicopters, it looks almost unreal. A transport chopper the size of a small airliner, yet with the ability to land in remote, makeshift zones. It is a marvel that challenges our nation's of what helicopters are supposed to be. Sae FR into much as that break boundaries and look absolutely menacing will dying it, the Mi-26 deserves a place on your list. It is not luxury was in the traditional sense, but there is a different king of luxury here, one of extreme capability, world-class engineering, and an iconic prisoners that few can rival. Thanks for turning into luxury dream cars 14. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And hit the bell icon so you never miss our deep dives into the world's most extraordinary machines. Until next time, keep dreaming big, whether it is on four wheels or with eight massive rotor blades.